Today we'll be reviewing part number T4750700. This is the Titan zinc plated brake actuator with the built in drop. It's going to provide a three inch drop measuring from this point here to the base of the bottom of the coupler. It's also designed to work with disc brakes and it's going to fit a two and five sixteenth inch hitch ball. This is a bolt on design. You can see the different bolt holes down at this portion here. Now we do have a couple different sizes of bolt holes to go over. So that whole mounting plate is going to give us a measurement of about eight and, and one quarter of an inch. So eight and one quarter of an inch. These three holes are going to be the same, same patterns on the other side. Those holes are going to give us a diameter of half an inch. These two holes are a little bit larger. They're going to give us a diameter of five eighths of an inch. The distance between these two holes center on center is going to be one inch. And then the overall length of this entire system is going to measure right around 33 inches. This hydraulic actuator is going to synchronize the trailer brakes with the tow vehicle brakes. When you apply the brakes in your tow vehicle, deceleration occurs and momentum actually pushes your trailer toward the rear of your vehicle. With the surge brake system, the actuator is triggered as your trailer moves forward and while the tow vehicle is slowing. What this item does is that the actuator actually telescopes, which is going to apply force to the master cylinder here at the rear, which in turn is going to apply the necessary hydraulic pressure to engage the brakes on your trailer. Up here at this portion here, this has a built-in unique roller design that's going to reduce resistance during telescoping. That way it's going to create a straight line movement. The system is made from a sturdy, durable steel construction, so it is going to resist bending in jackknife situations. Up here at the front, we have a standard heavy-duty ball coupler with the built-in drop. Again, that's going to be a three-inch built-in drop. It has an easy-to-use latch system. It also has the cutout hole. That way you can install a coupler pin or a coupler lock. Those are available and sold separately at eTrailer.com. To engage or disconnect from the hitch ball, you just lift up on that little eyelet there and move it to an up position. That's going to open it up, allow you to connect or disengage. And then to get it back down, place it back down, making sure this little lever goes into the appropriate slot. Very easy to use. This does also include the breakaway kit, which is this portion here. So the way that this system works is the other end of the chain connects to your vehicle. If your trailer and vehicle were to disconnect, um, this would uh, pull the lever tight, bringing it back. And what that does is it's going to engage the brakes on your trailer, bringing the trailer to an eventual stop. So that's a great feature to have. This does have a nice zinc plated finish on it, so it is going to provide ultimate resistance against corrosion. Again, it is that bolt-on install. Um, it is designed to work with disc brakes. Again, the ball size is a 2 and 5 16th inch hitch ball, 3 inch drop. Down here for our mounting, um, this is designed to fit uh, channel widths that measure 3 inches, so we have 3 inches in between our channel there. It's going to offer us a gross weight capacity of 20,000 pounds with a maximum tongue weight of 2,000 pounds. Here at the back, I want to give you a peek at the master cylinder that we have back here. This portion here is our master cylinder. We do have um, a connection point here to connect the brake lines of the trailer. And then right here at top, I have that loosely installed so I could quickly disconnect it. All you got to do is unscrew this lid and it's a simple just twist off application. This is your brake fluid reservoir, and right there on the lid it says use only DOT type 3 brake fluid. So that's always going to be a reminder. You can see right in there that's the reservoir for the brake fluid. Simply just threads back into place, and then the cap goes back on just to keep anything from getting in that reservoir or around that master cylinder. That's going to do it for today's review of part number T4750700. This is the Titan zinc plated brake actuator with the built in drop at the coupler.